Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining uh, the third uh, monitor uh, community call. Uh, today, uh, we will uh, focus on uh, the researchers uh, funders. Uh, so the research funders. Um, this uh, meeting will be recorded. So if uh, you don't want to uh, be in our recording, please uh, close uh, your uh, um, camera uh, and uh, close your mic. Uh, we will have a session of question and answer. Feel free uh, to uh, write uh, your question in the question and answer uh, chat or in our chat or in uh, uh, our uh, shared notes uh, that will be shared with you in a few minutes in the chat. So today uh, we have uh, our uh, uh, service manager for uh, uh, the research funder funding organization, Harry Dimitropoulos, from the Athena Research Center. And uh, I'm leaving the floor to you, Harry. Okay, hello. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining. Um, so I'll be presenting the Open Air Monitor for Research Funding Organizations. Uh, this is um, uh, a first community call for uh, 2024. But uh, from now on, we they will be uh, quite much more frequent. So we, we organized four per year, I think. Um, so the agenda for today is to walk you through the Explorers Funders page. This is a, a new page we're introducing in, in Explorer. Uh, and then show you new and updated monitor indicators. However, since it's been a long time that we've had one of these uh, community calls, uh, I wanted to uh, and some of you are, are, are re recently joined, some have monitored dashboards, have might not. So I will give some background information about the data that, that monitor uses. So I'll talk about the open air graph and the data quality and some other things like the linking functionality. So the focus for today, as I said, is for research funding organizations. And I'll start with um, the Explore's Funders page. So this is a new page we've introduced in Explore. You can find it at the end of the Explore uh, menu. And it gives uh, an overview of the funders we have in open uh, air in the graph uh, in, in kind of uh, summary form. So I'll actually, I'm going to show you the page in a minute. But before that, I want to explain the difference between. So you'll see some funders here are registered um, in the way that they used to be registered in open air. So this would be directly joining open air, which is the recommended avenue for representation of open air graph. So that means that uh, the funders will provide their funding data, which is basically the list of their uh, project metadata. Then we will create a text mining uh, algorithm uh, tailored uh, for them. And there will be a process of meticulous curation uh, for the project publication links that are produced by the mining. So this ensures that the, a comprehensive presence of the funder uh, with project level granularity um, and guarantees the precision of the data incorporated. So that was the case up till a year ago, uh, but then uh, many funders wanted to have monitor dashboards just to get numbers of publications. Uh, we also uh, had um, uh, national uh, open access monitor uh, uh, dashboards, for example, for Ireland. So there's a lot of, that, of uh, funders that uh, wanted to be included. So we added another way of uh, representation, which was via open funder registry. So there, some funders have their project registered with OFR, which is fine, then nothing changes, but some do not, in which case only the publications can be associated uh, via uh, valid DOIs in the graph. And the text mining module cannot be built uh, because it requires a list of projects. One exception is we can build uh, unidentified project mining, which means uh, we can create uh, links to the funder, but without identifying which project it is because we don't have the, the metadata for it. So the disadvantage of that is that we don't have the granularity of the direct integration, the quality will not be guaranteed, uh, and there is no curation is what we will get from Crossref and the other uh, things we are aggregating at the funder level. So less information also provided in the Explore Funders page. And so I will show you the difference now. Let me go to the page. Right, so if we go to Explore, Open Air Explore, you can go to Funders. And uh, here there's some 
general information and then you can see the funders which are listed in two two forms as these uh, blocks or in in kind of a list form um you can uh, change the order um say reverse order uh, for example or uh, check by open access percentage um and you can have display a, a number of different uh, funders per page you can also search for for specific funders so uh, i don't know i might search for uh, for croatia and i get two funders for croatia uh, or i can search for, for from by say uh, short name so i get uh, here an anr so there's different uh, searching options and i can also see the funders that have dashboards open air dashboards um so what what do I actually see? So what I see, if we look here, I don't know, uh, the Austrian Science Fund, I have a link to their pro the list of projects and their uh, research products and their monitor dashboard if it's open. If not, it, there's a, a lock there. For example, the European Commission, we can access it. So I could go research products and this, this will take us to the page in Explore, but filtered for the European Commission. Before, previously, before this funders page, you would have to go in Explore, do a search uh, for research products, and then go down here in the filters, find the funder you wanted, uh, select the funder. So it was, um, you know, it would take time. And the same for the projects. You will have to go to the projects page and then select the funder you wanted, uh, I don't know, Swiss National Science. Uh, foundation and then you will get the project so whereas with the funders page it's easier you can directly uh, go to the to the projects um, from there and the research products so uh, this is the main idea is to have all the funders here the difference that I mentioned before can be seen here so Academy of Finland is, is properly registered whereas uh, ADAPT Center for Digital Content Technology uh, is via of, um, uh, open funder re registry. So we have the research products uh, associated from there, but there is no project information. So you will see no project information. In the next update of the funders page, we, which we are preparing, I can show you a preview, but it's not completely ready. So some things will change. Um, so you will uh, there will be the country a uh, country flag flag so you can uh, sort the funders by uh, country. Uh, you will also be able to um, see uh, which of the funders have been uh, with text mining and curation. They will have a flag, so you will know which have been uh, curated, and which are just uh, aggregated, you know, from from the uh, different sources that we get. So this is the idea of the funders page. Um, going back to the one you can see now. Uh, another thing I want to point out is there is always a help button uh, you can use uh, for a form if you have to contact us. And there is the join us button, which takes you into the how to join open air as a funder. Um, so let me just go back to the presentation to say what, what uh, does joining through the direct route that I mentioned before uh, entails. So there's um, what we require is a, a, a file, usually an Excel file. Uh, uh, I mean, this is one way, the other ways, where the, inf the information will be, some is mandatory and some is optional. So the project identifier uh, of a project is very important. And then the title or acronym, S some funders have acronyms, some don't. Uh, obviously the funder name and uh, we also say that the start and end date of a project is mandatory but even that even without that we can still uh, provide some good um, monitor uh, output and, and include you in, in open air graph and there are optional uh, there are data which can be provided like funding streams organizations involved um, um, open access mandates, project description, bud budgets, and things like that. With the more information that's provided, the more rich the, the monitor will be. Uh, but personal private deals are, are never required. Um, so one way of providing this is via a, a, a simple table file, you know, like in a spreadsheet. 
Another is uh, if you have an API, we can directly go to, and this actually said in here in the, the list of different uh, things. We can use a, an API if you have, and we can directly update the projects uh, from your site or from a website where we can download a file. Some funders have their uh, project data on their website. And also what I said before with the Open Funder Registry, uh, if you um, register your project with them, with them, then we can get the data from there. Uh, here on this page, you can also find a file with much more information on what can be included or not. So there's a lot of uh, fields you can include, but the ones with zero are not mandatory. So, And some are up to end because you can include many organizations. And there's an example of... Uh, it's of the layout that you use and some information you can. But if you have any problem, you always use the help button, which is the uh, available. You know, there's help desk. There's on every page in Open Air, there is a way to uh, um, contact us. And in the second tab, you can also, again, there's a contact form. You can even here upload uh, your data and send it uh, to us. Um, and understanding the benefits. Okay, so I'm going back to the presentation. So this was the the idea of the funders page. Now I'm going to talk about uh, a bit about the open air graph. We have community calls for the open air graph. Uh, so if you've attended some of those, you you might know uh, uh, this already. But I'm just giving a brief brief overview because this is the data backbone for monitor. So the monitor relies on all the data that open air collects, uh, and it's the open air graph, which is a scientific knowledge graph collecting metadata describing objects in the research life cycle and relationships among them. And uh, it's updated uh, every month. Uh, and at the moment, it has 131K of data sources, 3.5 million projects, and 258 almost research outputs, which is publication software data sets and other research products. Um, and if you want more information, you can always go to the uh, graph.openair.eu page, where you can find a lot of um, information. And you have uh, the number of research products. And also, you can dive deeper into statistics there. Uh, and we have here the numbers of publications, data items, software, other data sources, funders, and grants. So you can get a lot of information there also. Now I'll go back to the page. You can uh, join the, the graph user forum where any questions can be discussed uh, and we can help you out there okay so back to the presentation so let me uh, show the graph pipeline so on the left you see that there's uh, open air collects from all these uh, data sources which could be repositories publishers open access journals registries aggregators chris systems and things like that um they are registered through the Open Air uh, provide uh, platform where the, the metadata can be validated so that they conform with the Open Air guidelines. Uh, in addition, uh, we can enhance the metadata uh, of the repositories via the Open Air broker. And uh, all this information is aggregated. Then there is uh, full text, uh, text and data mining, so the data are, are enriched. Then there's a step step of uh, deduplication so that we, because we get many publications from different sources or different versions of them, like preprints, uh, and these are deduplicated, uh, merged into one entry. But then you have all the information for the, for the you know the provenance from where everything came. So we keep we don't throw anything away. Uh, then there is an enrichment by inference again on the on the graph level, so uh, graph links are propagated, and a final step where everything is harmonized and cleaned. And this is available. The graph is available as a public graph data set and an API. And this is what feeds the monitor, open air monitor. And then user feed, feedback from funders, institutions, or whoever has a monitor dashboard is also used to improve. The, the data that we collect. So it's a continuous uh, loop process. Um, so some of the sources going to be with the graphs is a variety of sources the, the, from thematic and institutional repositories like PubMed, Archive, How, uh, to aggregators uh, like DOIJ, uh, research graphs like open citations on paywall, software tools and uh, software sources like software heritage, uh, publishers, Lost Frontiers, Springer, 
and funders obviously um and and many registries like in orchid roar and 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 such so for data quality, the steps that uh, we take is the duplication I, I mentioned. So we merge the duplicate records uh, of the same scholarly work, but keep uh, the different copies. Uh, we enrich through text and data mining. So there is affiliation, citation, and concept extraction, uh, as well as document classification for fields of science and sustainable development uh, goal uh, categories which I'll talk about later, and similarity assessment. And there is an independent continuous aggregation process that utilizes vocabularies to harmonize the different data sources to ensure they're harmonized, uh, consistent, and accurate. And there's an additional disobligation, of course, for journals, publishers, and licenses. And all this, again, is explained in the, in the open air, uh, in the graph, uh, open air graph uh, pages, there's a lot of documentation for everything you want you're looking for there uh, so something i'll mention because uh, i don't think it's mentioned before in these community calls but in others uh, users can also link uh, uh, products so apart from what we collect and what we mine um, a, a user can go with their institutional say login or the open air or whatever to access the linking functionality where they can associate their research outputs with projects, communities or other outputs and these will be shown in the next graph update so uh, the linking functionality is from explore you can go to link and there's information on how to do and how to start linking um, and I'm not going to go into the details of the linking now, but uh, you can ask me if you want. So now I'm going to focus on the on the monitor and the monitor indicators. Um, and uh, the idea of the monitor was to simplify research and uh, monitoring evaluation for funders, research institutions, and research initiatives. You can read on the page the different um, uh, benefits of doing that, but most of you that are here uh, and know why you should... Uh, uh, you you know it's good to monitor your uh, your your output, but uh, why specifically the open air monitor? Well, uh, first of all, open air is about open science and open data, and uh, we're based on the principles of inclusivity, transparency, and replicability. Uh, and we offer full coverage of open science, so not only publications but research data, software, and other research products. Uh, the indicators are co-developed with the community. So they're usually things that make sense to all. And plus, uh, fully embedded, we're fully embedded in the EOS infrastructure from the current providers to the included metrics. Um, the indicators uh, are uh, split up in these uh, main themes. So there's indicators for funding, research output, open science, collaborations, and impact. And uh, some of them were, if you've been in previous community calls, you will know that we've covered most of them. But there's also new ones that are uh, I'm going to present this time, like the sustainable development goals um, indicators. And we also have a, a stats tool where new uh, indicators can easily be customized and created uh, without coding. So any indicators that uh, users request, um, if they're uh, if they're we the community finds them useful, then they're included, and we continuously add more indicators. All indicators are break down by different fields of interest, like by time, countries, data sources, and funders. And the main features is that we, we, we try to have uh, uh, user-friendly dashboards with interactive visualizations, exporting capabilities, filtering. You can also browse the data behind the indicators. Uh, there's some editing of visualization dashboards that is allowed, so you can customize a few things uh, if you're a, um, a manager of the dashboard. There's documentation pages, and uh, what we usually do, if you're a new funder, we go through a one-on-one co-design session. We provide you with our default uh, monitor, and then we can customize it to your needs. And there's different ways to control how you share. So some indicators or some sections of the monitor or the entire monitor could be public you know, for showcasing. It could be a set of restricted indicators for team members for internal monitoring and private indicators for work in progress. So now let's go into the new indicators that have been introduced. So we introduced composite scores for openness, uh, findability, and fairness, uh, with the aim to offer a broader view of research accessibility and management practices. So 
open as we define as average uh, share of open access research output, findability score as average share of output or research output with a PID, fairness score as average share of research output with metadata completeness. Um, and the dashboards now also align publications with uh, sustainable development goals, uh, aiming to reflect the societal impact of the research. So we have a um, uh, classifier that classified these uh, um, different SDG categories. Uh, you can also find some more information about that if you go in explore page. There is a link there to sustainable development goals. Uh, explaining uh, what we do. Uh, okay. Sorry, oh, it's my presentation. Okay, and then so here's an example of some. We'll see them also in the demo. So publications, for example, by SDGs, or average downloads by publication per publication by SDGs. Uh, we have also introduced um, um, a detailed breakdown by scholarly fields based on the field of science classification system. Uh, this enrichment is intended to offer a clear understanding of the trends and variations across scientific domains. So you see there's uh, three levels at the moment, uh, but the indicators I think are at the moment are only for level one and two, and, two, and more will be added. So for example, here we have the publications over time, but by FOS level. Uh, level one and or here we have the most open uh, field of science by level two by the number of gold app access uh, publications um, or here uh, we have the, this was over time now we have the publications by field of science by levels one and two so you have the level one there and then you can go to the level two categories and, and see the numbers uh, or here publications by FOS level one by open access route. Uh, there's also addition of collaboration and academic impact metrics, including download and citation data, which is designed to provide a wider perspective on research influence and collaboration networks. So there's most downloads here, for example, by level two, uh, average downloads per publication uh, by FOS levels one and two. Uh, we also have uh, new indicators uh, for uh, uh, incorporating open APC data, providing a clearer view of financial aspects in open science. Uh, so, uh, you know, for example, total APCs by FOS level one and two, average APCs per publication. I will show you these in the dashboards as well. And also combined indicators. So here there are SDG publications by SDGs, but also by FOS. So these are the SDGs, and the, you 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 uh, and you also have the colors for the FOS. So we we combine these as well. And there are upcoming uh, indicators. At the moment, there's the Plan S compliance indicators that uh, will be coming soon uh, for funder uh, grant support output and transformative agreements. And uh, you can also mind, find more uh, about this in the next community call, which will be on May 21st, and by visiting our monitor community calls page. So let me go now and show you some things here. Oh, back to the Explore page. I want to say also there is uh, a link here for fields of science, so you, will get, you can get uh, information uh, about them in open air. Um, okay, let me say about this in the graph. Okay, so let's go to the open air uh, monitor. Uh, if you are new uh, to the monitor, you a new founder ha haven't ha that does not have a monitor yet, just a very brief overview. Uh, this is the uh, the home page and monitor.openair.eu with some basic information. And there, where you can also find the resources, which talks about our uh, methodological, methodolo methodological approach, sorry, and gives the terminology and construction uh, information on entities that we use, inherited and inferred attributes, and constructed attributes. So you can see what we mean by full open access, for example, and things like that. Um, and also there is the indicators theme I showed, things I showed before, where you can go to specific, specific lists, I don't know, for research institutions or for funders, you can see the different uh, indicators. 
Uh, and always, you can always uh, contact us for support. There's a, a FAQ uh, question here uh, and answer uh, section. And uh, in every page, I think, I believe there is the help button where you can uh, contact us. Uh, okay, so um, I went into the browse section here where you can see the different types of uh, dashboards we have for funders, research initiatives and research institutions. If they're public, restricted or private, and um, and so here I've I, I am as a member. I'm not, uh, but what I'm going to show you is public uh, today. So usually we uh, I show things with the European Commission dashboard, but this time I'm going to use one of the uh, open air, the other open air funders. So I'm going to go for the Croatian Science Foundation to show show some information here. So this is the layout of the of the dashboard. On the left, you will see the categories uh, that we mentioned before. So there's the funding, research output, open science, collaboration, and impact indicators. But there is also an overview, uh, which gives some basic numbers, like for the number of publications, data set software, and other research projects uh, associated with the funder. And some basic graphs, for example, the publications over time. Uh, you can see here the interactivity I mentioned. So you might want, for example, to see only the grant supported uh, information or the peer reviewed uh, publications. So you can do uh, this sort of thing. You can also uh, zoom in if you, if you wanna get more information on one part of the graph. And then the, you can view indicators in full screen, uh, uh, print, uh, and download in different um, uh, types of uh, images. And if you download by SVG, you also get the interactivity. And you can also get the data as an uh, Excel or CSV file. You can also view the data underneath the graph if, if selected. So they're the same for data sets. And here you can see we've introduced some of the new indicators in the overview. So we have publications by field of science. So you see here that this is uh, level one. And uh, publications by STGs. Uh, publication openness over time, data set openness, and here is the most open fields of science level two by number of gold access publications. So this is an overview page for the funder, but then there's specific pages, uh, for example, for the funding. Now here, this, this is a new indicator as well. This is grant supported publications by FOS level one. Uh, so you can see which uh, category is more, uh, which level is uh, more financed. And then there's the research output um, categories where they're split by the different um, entities, publications, data sets, and data management plans, software, and other research products. So there's different, I, I won't uh, go through all of these because I think we've covered these in the previous community calls. It's mostly pointing what is new here. Uh, so we have publications over time, but this is a new graph. This has been updated as well. Yeah, we used to have that, but here you have it also by by type, uh, is it a book, an article, a thesis, and things like that. Uh, by data source, uh, the top 15 data sources, top organizations, again, by field of science here, field, field of science uh, level one. Um, so I see this, oh, medical and health sciences, we can see then the different uh, level two categories. So you can get uh, detailed information. And I'm just going to show, show, oh, there's also the peer review section, which focuses on the peer reviewed publication, the information for the peer reviewed publication. So peer reviewed uh, over time by type, uh, top 15 publishers for this funder, top 30 journals, and again, the same uh, graph we saw for the all. And I'm just going to go also for the data sets and data uh, uh, management plans. So data management plan by data source, data management plans over uh, time, uh, and some indicators for data sets. Uh, some funders have more information, you will get more indicators, some have less. Uh, so th some things that are empty will not show. So let's go to the open science. These are the composite indicators that I mentioned before. Some of the uh, indicators or graphs have notes, so you can see some small definitions. Uh, here, you will also get them over time. Uh, this is not ready yet, so this uh, looks like an empty page, but we'll have um, more things added. And then we have uh, indicators for publications, which are uh, categorized in open access, general business models, 
This is the new article processing charges section and fairness. So for example, in open access, we have publications by open access rights, embargo restricted, close access not available. The same thing over time by open access route. Uh, there is a lot of information based on what has been requested by uh, uh, most of the funders that we've talked with or the <clears throat> um, uh, institutions we, we collaborate with. So there's to top journals by number of gold, uh, open access publications, hybrid, bronze, green. Uh, and then we get again back to the by uh, field of science level one. So by open science route and field of one by level two publications uh, by fields of science level two by open uh, access route. route. So you can see that. Um, then for the journal business models, again, you will see here about uh, full open access with APC, diamond, transformer journals, for example, the, the journal business models over time. Um, top 15 full open access with APCs journals, uh, top 15 transformative journals, uh, top 15 hybrid journals. And in the APC sections, you will get numbers for the total publications, publications with reported APCs. And here there's a note that uh, with an affiliated co-author, so it includes APCs not paid by the institution, similar for the amount. And so there are things over time and by FOS levels. Uh, and by gold, hybrid, and bronze, and open access routes, uh, and over time. So there's, and some of them have also notes. So this is for publications with reported APCs, uh, which you can click. Okay. And there's some fairness indicators, uh, which are based on the PID. So we see publications with PID over time. Uh, the type of PID with, we get, so here we have well, more than half with uh, DRI, others with archive, PubMed IDs, or a handle. And publications with a license over time, uh, with CC or without CC, and uh, publication with an ORCID ID over time, so the, sh the percentage of which have an ORCID ID. Uh, publications with abstract, uh, grant support publication with a funding reference, and here's publication for number of duplicates. So you know, some, some publications have more than one duplicate, as I mentioned, they're deduplicated. De de we see uh, that they come from different sources. In the collaboration indicators, we have uh, at the moment for co-funded research output. So by type, uh, with publications here in datasets, and by uh, co-funded publication trends over time. And here is the uh, also new section now with impact. It had, uh, I think we had downloads and citations have been enhanced because uh, apart from the total downloads and the average downloads per publication, uh, you also get here um, by open access routes, uh, by open access rights, and also the FOS uh, levels are included. So downloads by FOS level one and two. And Again, there is uh, average downloads by publication by FOS level one or two, most downloaded FOS by level two. And there's the, as you will see the, the FOS uh, indicators uh, because there, there are breakdown, they're included in, in, many, in, in many sections that are scattered throughout. STGs you can find here and also the couple that we saw in the overview. Um, so here we have the number of publications and the number of publications related to an SDG. So these uh, have been categorized with an SDG. And for these, we present these uh, uh, indicators. So these are publications by SDGs by access right. And again, somebody can you know uh, remove some to be able to see uh, specific things they're interested in. Publications by SDGs by open access route. This is the combined I mentioned before by SDGs and by FOS level one. Uh, and then we have uh, average downloads by publication, uh, per public, sorry, per publication by SDGs, total a a APCs by SDGs, average APCs uh, per publication by SDGs, amount in euro, total citations by SDGs. Um, and uh, average citation per publication by SDGs. So I'm uh, going to 
return back to the demo, uh, to the uh, to close my presentation so that I can uh, go to the Q and A section. So uh, if you are a new uh, funder and you're interested in getting started with the dashboard, then you can go to the Monte Open EU and you can see the get started uh, uh, form that you can fill in. Um, now, if you're, and then we'll be able to contact you in order how to provide the, the funder project data. If you're a funder that already uh, has a dashboard or is already indexed in open air, uh, please make sure we usually remind you also to update your funder project data uh, whenever there's uh, new information coming in. If it's via an API or your website, we know we collect it or we automatically update or if it's uh, if your projects are registered in Open Funder reg Registry. But uh, if they're provided by file, then we usually ask you, you know, every, depending on the funder, every six months, every year, de depending on um, how um, in the calls, you know, each funder has a, a different frequency of, uh, of calls for new projects. There's also the help button that you can use at any stage for, for any of these uh, questions. And also, most important, please contact us if you identify any issues with the data quality of your monitor. So we can, rather than saying, oh, that doesn't work, we can then see sometimes it's very simple or something hasn't been included or something needs fixing. And um, so the, you know we can address any issues and improve the quality of the graph and of your dashboard. And you can use also the linking functionality if needed, if things... Uh, uh, in the linking functionality you mentioned, for example, you can upload uh, publications and link them to your projects uh, by file or in bulk as well, you know, if you have DOIs, <clears throat> apart from searching uh, for one per one. And uh, please use the content form or you can contact me directly as well. Uh, I will stop the presentation here so we can go to the Q&A section. Uh, as I see, let me open the chat and see if I can see. Right, and also let me see. Thank you, Harry. I, I, okay. I'm uh, not able so... to see you. Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you, yes, yes. Uh, I'm just trying to, <laughs> to see how to get uh, to view everybody. Uh, maybe I will just stop the presentation then, and then, okay. Right. Meanwhile, if you want, I can uh, read uh, uh, a question that we have here in the uh, Q&A uh, chat. Uh, yes, please. Let me reshare, though. I want to, so I'll be able to. Can you see my, my screen or not? Yes, I can, uh, we can still see. Oh, okay, 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 great. Thank you. Okay. Okay, yes, please. Uh, Will it be possible to see the correlation of the publication that leads to patents or how many citations paper got and so on? A funding agency would want to see the results of their efficiency in supporting their project. For instance, we are supporting this project and this project had five papers published. Total citation of the paper is 100 and lead to one patent, and so on. It will be uh, interesting to see such results. Will it be possible to uh, categorize uh, the project with uh, respect to these uh, parameters? Like uh, the list of the list of projects according to the most uh, papers published or most uh, cited? application yes uh, we do have some some things but not for i don't think uh, the top 10 pro top 15 projects but not for this uh funder i think we have to go to the ec dash for some uh not all of this is a very good question and of course uh yes uh we could uh try and cover most of that let me go um sorry where do i want to go i want to go let me just see <clears throat> so if i go uh to the uh, okay. European Commission, the, because that has more information for the funding section. So basically, you're saying we would improve. So we will have we have, um, for example, highest funded projects. So that's one kind of uh, thing we could have them by uh, by some type of output. For example, like the patents you mentioned, there's uh, patent mining for uh, EPO patents in, in open air, but uh, that's true. It's not being included in the monitor at the moment. 
Um, <clears throat> so, yes, I think we... Uh, is Leonidas on the call? I want to please uh, keep... Yeah, just keep in, note of everything. Every in any request. case, we will keep note of the questions. Exactly, Julia, yes. uh, Save the questions and send it to, to me because I don't have access to them. Hmm. Now I see it. Yes. Uh, is, yes, we uh, will keep notes of the questions and uh, we will see how and it is a very interesting question, a very interesting mm, proposal for yeah, indicators. Yeah. yeah, I agree, definitely. Thank you for the, the question. Uh, okay, let's see. There is... Uh... So um, I don't know if I cannot see another question in the chat, right? Right. But uh, also, if you don't want to ask your question now, or it's uh, you know pertaining to just your particular case or your specific dashboard, you can please use the help button, and uh, or get in touch so we can answer directly. As you can see, for the EC, for example, we have uh, at the moment, and we'll add uh, Horizon Europe that we have also for Horizon Twenty Twenty. A category so for some funders another request which would make sense is to have by uh different indicators by say funding stream so that you can group them by by such <clears throat> thank you ari i have a question for the founders that are here in the call um this uh, um, measurement of patents uh, is for you useful for uh, economical uh, impact or do you measure uh, the um, economical uh, impact in another way. Okay. Maybe you can type in the chat or uh, in the Q and A uh, your question if you want. If you don't want to open your mic, or if you want to, that we uh, cut your question when we do the editing of the recording. Uh, uh, you can still type and uh, uh, and we will uh, uh, make sure that uh, you are not recorded. Okay. Um, so um, I will give you also some news. Um, we will have uh, tomorrow uh, the pleasure to host uh, um, in uh, uh, the uh, open air uh, community call for Argos uh, at the two uh, Central European time, 2 p.m. Um, Arnis uh, from uh, the um, Latvian uh, uh, Science uh, Council, and uh, I see that he's uh, uh, in the call today. Uh, and uh, tomorrow we will have uh, the pleasure also to see uh, how the DMPs uh, uh, will be um, uh, are part of the open science policy. I don't know, Arnis, uh, if uh, you would like to say something for inviting the people here tomorrow. Yes, I will take part tomorrow and also a short presentation uh, about the uh, present situation. Thank you. So we are looking for having you also tomorrow uh, in our call. Um, so the next uh, open air uh, monitor community call will be uh, instead focused on the um, monitor for uh, uh, institutions, and it will be at the end of May. Uh, in uh, um, uh, in May, I'm not sure if uh, Harry is confirmed, but uh, uh, Harry will speak about uh, the tax mining in the community call that uh, will be related uh, uh, to the open air graph. So we are going a little bit in the technicalities yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. of uh, of the text mining uh, that uh, we are doing also for, uh, for you. Um, other update, uh, the next community call for funders will be again in September. So you also can already register by going to uh, openair.eu in the section of uh, support, community calls, monitor community calls, and uh, uh, we will also uh, share with you the next uh, agenda. Um, are there any uh, questions for uh, 
Harry, for open air, for uh, or sharing your experience with the open air monitor. Uh, while we get any questions, I also forgot to mention that uh, when uh, founders are, in, are indexed in open air, they also uh, are shown uh, in Zenodo. So when uh, uh, you know researchers upload their publications, they can find their projects uh, for that particular founder and link to, you know at the project level easily. Thank you. I think this is uh, important. And also, if uh, you are asking us uh, to be part of uh, Argos and uh, uh, you are sharing with us uh, your uh, template, uh, again, by joining in OpenAir, you will be uh, directly linked. So this is very useful also for uh, um, the monitor that is related on uh, the MPs and the activities in your research. So it will be easier uh, to monitor and track uh, the research uh, in uh, your countries or for your specific uh, uh, funding system. Harry, did we miss anything? Uh, I hope not, uh, but uh, well, well, you know, if uh, I know some funders that wanted to join the call were not able to because I got emails and we've arranged one-on-one -on -one sessions, you know, please feel free to use the help uh, button the, and, and monitor to say, you know, can we just talk, you know, either for your uh, monitor dashboard or, you know, if you're thinking of a new, uh, new dashboard. And uh, as uh, Harry said uh, uh, before, uh, while he was presenting, if you spot any uh, errors or mistakes, we are very happy to uh, check and uh, curate uh, your dashboard or curate uh, the um, uh, information that we have in the open air graph. Uh, all the open air services are uh, uh, co-designed and uh, co-developed with you. This is why uh, we are having now regular calls. And uh, we hope to have your feedback either online or offline. So feel free uh, to share with us your um ideas yeah and especially for data quality also the the graph forum is very good for asking any questions there um, uh, other update uh, can concern the project in which uh, uh, the monitor is uh, continuously on the on development one of this project is uh, about us about way for open science in uh, this project, uh, uh, we are looking for uh, um, measurements uh, on uh, uh, the final impact of the research and what are the pathways that open science is giving as opportunities uh, to make an impact. So you can now uh, follow uh, that web page. Uh, and also another project is called uh, uh, GRASP OS um, that uh, um, as uh, uh, three different uh, categories of uh, users, um, the funders and the national uh, um, partners. In particular, we have a pilot in Finland and another pilot in uh, Romania, uh, in which we are uh, looking uh, uh, for uh, what are the indicators that uh, um, at the national level are critical. Um, and then we have other three levels, uh, what uh, um, at the institutional level and for thematic domain, it means uh, uh, having indicators in open science uh, and uh, how we can uh, monitor and develop uh, in a sustainable way. Uh, we remind that uh, Open Air is also a um, subscriber signatory of uh, Coara. And we are leading a working group on open infrastructures. So you are also welcome to join um, the discussion that are uh, concerning how um, an open infrastructure should uh, be governed, sustained, and what are the characteristics and principles uh, for um, a non-commercial non system. Um, I'm not sure, uh, 
Harry, uh, or Xenia, or uh, Leonidas, uh, if you would like to remind any other activities or projects that we have. Maybe uh, Leonidas, uh, since you are here, you may also share um, the experience with the Irish uh, Monitor. Yes, during the last year, we have uh, practically we have uh, won and took the contract for public tender in order to, to develop the uh, National Open Access Monitor for Ireland. Uh, we started the project uh, last uh, in June 2023, and uh, currently we are in the pilot phase of the project. The platform is uh, up and ongoing. We can also share with you the URL. We have worked closely well with all the research performing and research funding organizations in uh, Ireland. As I'm long sharing as also the, uh, yes. the, yeah, so you can have a look. The project managers from from Ireland. And uh, we're quite we're excited and very proud of, of this work, which is, all, of course, ongoing. We are going to, to deliver it in uh, June, in two months from time from now. And it has more indicators than our monitor. It has more indicators that uh, some of them will be incorporated also to open a monitor, for example, the planet indicators. Yeah. And uh, we have uh, also some cross country indicators yeah. in the national monitor, and also for funders and like... cross, yes, cross RFO indicators, indicators for fine, comparisons yeah. among the funders, the Irish funders. Yeah. We also offer through the same platform the functionality to browse the research products that are shown in the monitor. There's also a dedicated community in Zenodo handled by the Irish project management team where we have all the reports, presentations, trainings, let me share it with you also. So if uh, uh, from uh, your countries, you would like to extend uh, the monitor activities and uh, you would like to explore the possibility of having a pilot similar to Ireland with you, please uh, uh, contact us. Yes. And uh, we will discuss uh, the opportunity uh, for uh, your specific uh, um, countries, your needs, and uh, uh, what uh, you feel that is most important for you. Um, as always, uh, we are uh, um, always open now uh, to uh, co-design with you. Uh, to understand what are uh, your needs, uh, what are the gaps that you are uh, currently uh, feeling in uh, the open science landscape or in general in the research assessment. Um, so every time that uh, you need, we are at uh, your disposal. So I think uh, we can uh, close the at least the recording. So if uh, someone uh, would like to speak of uh, line can do so let me stop